Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, A Monk in Cloud. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your Docker Hub account and also generate your access tokens, which we will be using in our DevOps projects. All right, so let me open up uh, your dockerhub.com. Okay, so if you go ahead and type in dockerhub.com or hub.docker.com, you will land on this page. Okay, if you have an account already, you can just go ahead and sign in directly. If you do not have one, so I would highly recommend you to go ahead and create a new one for this demonstration. Okay, so you will have to provide a username here. So this is my username DT77. Okay, and the email address that I'm using is demo trainer 77 at gmail.com. Okay, I have an account with this Gmail. So and this is the uh, username and I've also pasted my password here. Okay, and agree to the terms and condition click on I am not a robot. So this these are the things. These are simple things, right? You, everyone would be knowing this one. Okay, after providing all this information, just click on sign up. Okay, this is pretty straightforward, right? So after this is done so let's wait for the next screen what it will ask right so it is asking for the password okay so let me type in my password okay all right so i've provided my password here and i'll click on continue All right, you can choose a plan here. So it comes with a personal a zero or zero dollars plan. And also you can go with a $5 per month a pro version. And also you, if you have a team, you can sign up for that also by paying uh, $7 a month okay, per user. And if you're uh, using for a, a business purpose, it is $21 per user per month. Okay, but it is okay to go with uh, personal with uh, uh, without paying anything you get these things okay you can get uh, docker desktop you can uh, go with unlimited public repositories you have some restrictions while creating private repositories so as this is for demonstration you can go with public but you cannot create a private repository just like we have github right so in github we have both private and public repositories private no one can access else uh, uh, other than you and your teammates but public it is available for everyone's usage right in the same way in if you go with docker hub personal by paying zero dollars you will only have to go with public repositories okay so this can be used for a docker engine and kubernetes uh, it is limited image pulls per day so there are some limitations so you cannot pull image uh, you know how much ever you want right so those things are there and unlimited scope tokens you can create unlimited tokens okay so i'll go with this personal itself uh, this is uh, you know so much uh, sufficient for my demonstrations okay i'll go ahead and click on continue so it is asking please verify your email address all right so i have an email address i will open up here if you see here i've got an uh, you know uh, an email saying verify hi dt77 thanks for creating docker id please verify it okay let me copy that okay i'll just go to my um, incognito and paste it here so if it uh, verifies uh, you know correctly without any error you would be able to use it okay let's see what happens all right i think uh, we are done okay so let me refresh this page once again okay now if you see we have our uh, you know docker hub account created so if you want to create a repository, you can go ahead, create a repository, store your images there. Okay. And also you can download the uh, desktop, Docker desktop available for Windows. If you want Linux, it is really straightforward to install, uh, you know, Docker on your uh, uh, Linux machines. You can do that. And there are some guides available. So there are some official uh, 
images that we already have like python we have nginx we have mongodb we have node.js we have postgres all those are official images okay so if you go to repositories you can create your own repository here but our intention today is to create access tokens right how to create access tokens it is really straightforward so click on your profile okay here is your profile click on account settings go to your security here okay so under security if you see there is something called as access tokens okay if you uh, you are using for the first time you will not have any tokens okay so you can create a new access token so let's say if you want to interact with this docker hub programmatically without providing the username and password then you need to have a token it is just like having your access key and secret access key for your aws account right so let me click on access key access token you need to provide a description here i'll just say demo uh, access key okay so i'm creating this key for demonstration so i'll just say demo access key and you have permissions so whatever permissions you want you can provide whether by using this token one can read write and delete or you want them to restrict only for read and write and you can only grant read only and it is public repo read only so you can provide these things but for this demonstration i'll go with read only okay so and click on generate so whatever you want you can generate right so this is actually the token right this is the actual token you you should not lose this one because if you close this one right you will not be able to view this again right so if you want to log in programmatically what you can do is you can just run this command docker login hyphen u dt77 because that is my username right you can give like this if you have the you know this token you can easily log into that account okay so you can copy and close this one Okay, so this is how you can create your own docker hub account along with your uh, access key token creation okay i hope you learned something new today if you are liking the content that i am creating please consider subscribing because i have seen 98 percent of my channel viewers have, uh, have not subscribed to the channel so that demotes demotivates me a lot so i'm i'm just asking you to subscribe to the channel and share it among your friends so that more people can make use of this one all right so that's it for today's video if you're liking the content that i'm creating please hit that like button and thank you